Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay, this time featuring Marshy in the bottom right corner playing the Red Zerg, and in your bottom left we have Van Draken playing the Blue Protoss. Both players, actually no, not both players. I believe Van Draken is in one Platinum and Marshy is in uh, mid Diamond, but it is on the ladder. Van Draken's probably really close to moving up two diamonds, so good for him. Uh, we are on Entombed Valley, which features a, uh, it's a pretty pretty small ramp leading down to the natural, uh, much larger ramp leading into the common ground, which is cut up by this this terrible little chasm. Uh, it really cuts up the surrounds that you can get on this map. Uh, and then you've got the destructible debris leading over to the third, which is such a small distance from the natural, and a small ramp leading to that important to take down that third uh destructible debris so you can get that third whoa seven pool for marshy never mind about all that expansion stuff um yeah so marshy is doing some cheese he's throwing down that seven pool i should have been paying more attention to the mineral count but uh it looks like where is van draken's probe is scouting in the absolute wrong direction he's already scouted the top left He's moving up to the top right, and now he's finally going to get back to the main base. But as the spawning pool finishes, you can see three Zerglings are underway. Oh, and Van Draken is going for the Forge Fast Expand also. Terror this, is, this is the worst. Um, totally, it's, you know, normally it's totally safe. Normally you can get a wall off by the time the Zerglings get there. Normally you can tell uh, that the Zerglings are coming by your probe, but when you scout the absolute wrong direction, these Zerglings are going to run right into this probe as they leave the base. The forge is going to finish, and uh, Van Draken's going to be in a lot of trouble. 16 to 10 supply. Double extractor trick, maybe, for more Zerglings. Yes. Yeah, two more Zerglings underway, so now we have 12 to 10 supply. Two photon cannons down, uh, but and all the probes are being... Hold, if he has the probes hold position right here, the Zerglings are, oh, the Zerglings are going to be focusing down one of the photon cannons so the probes can't really hold position on the ramp. Uh, the Zerglings really want to get in there and to deal the death stroke by taking out the Nexus. The photon cannons are going to be absolutely worthless at the bottom of the ramp because the uh, Zerglings are just going to be able to focus down that Nexus. And once the Nexus is done, uh, Marshy can go right back to home and uh, stand by there. Blowing another 150 on the photon cannon down at the bottom of the ramp again. It's not really going to be useful unless Van Draken can uh, pull Marshy back to the bottom of the ramp with these Zerglings. Interestingly, doesn't really want to get stuck. He, what Van Draken wants to do is get the uh, Zerglings stuck in between the Nexus so that he can get a good surround, so they can actually focus them all down and get back to work. Uh, but, but what Van Draken does not want to happen is for this Nexus to go down, so he can't just wait for the uh, zerglings to get tired hitting the nexus he wants a good surround this is a nice surround but he also wants to pull him back to the photon cannon which is which is foolhardy um he's got a superior probe count he might be able to take down all of these zerglings but what he has to worry about is the fact that all none of the drones came so the economy is still going on at home um 17 over 18 supply for marshy right now and he's got 500 minerals at home finally the zerglings turning in fight uh and so many of them go down but you can see the harvester count is pretty much even 9 to 11 but all that money that was saved up by marshy is going to get pulled directly into more drones um an expansion coming down forge being built on the uh low ground with the two photon cannons but as soon as metabolic boost finishes up the zerglings can once again stream right by so what van draken needs to do is get his probes back to a respectable number and then secure his front door and go for a very aggressive build like uh, a nexus just immediately after that expansion is built sending his probe down maybe to see if an expansion was built maybe to see if marshy was falling behind on his mac bro which he, which he totally did i mean he's got 300 minerals saved up um but as soon as the queen gets built the larva injects are going to get rolling and we're going to see a lot more units i think van draken has already lost this game uh, he is so far behind Chrono boosting out those probes though. The harvester count is neck and neck, even though the expansion is going to be finishing up for Marshy any second now. Queen finally out, grabbing the gas. It looks like uh, Marshy is comfortable in the lead that he currently has, um, and he's going to sit back and relax. Van Draken being reckless like he needs to be, uh, getting that Nexus out immediately before securing the other expansion. 
great play there. Uh, even if the Zerglings do come back, the probes can be pulled and can saturate the Nexus down here, which is significantly closer to the Photon Cannons and a lot more defended. Gateway is going to be working on that wall off. He might even just build a structure right here to wall off the uh, ramp and the natural rather than just wall off the entire ramp. It'll be interesting to see his choices. This is really shaping up to be an interesting play. What is the harvester count? 21 to 17 expected because the base is already up. Um, but still, Marshy is floating a lot of money. He's got two gas up, but he hasn't really decided to tech on anything. He's got the money to work on that metabolic boost. He's got the gas to work on that too. But just right now, focusing on, I guess, higher tech, getting that layer up. Uh, but he's really giving Van Draken the opportunity to get back in this game. This Nexus is going to finish. Gateway is going to finish. The uh, Nexus is going to start mainlining out probes. And the Harvester count is going to stabilize once again. Cybernetics core not being used to wall off. Um, that's a mistake. You really got to be careful about a Baneling bust at this point. And if a Baneling gets into this probe line and takes out half of them, that's going to put Van Draken so far back on the back foot that uh, he's never going to recover. Eight drones coming out for Marshy. We can see the Harvester count is severely in his favor. But the uh, Nexus is just now starting to work on drones or probes. And uh, we're going to see that continue to stabilize. I wonder what build uh, Marshy is going to back this up on. Um, he could go to Mutas. Some Mutas are going to be very difficult for Van Draken to deal with uh, at this time. He could just go for Roaches, uh, which is honestly probably what I would have done, was just sit back on those two bases, get another gas, get a bunch of Roaches. Uh, it looks like he's going Hydras and a Nidus Worm. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. <laughs> so a Nidus Worm, that's another thing that's going to be a very big issue for him to deal with. The Overlord is already in position. Second that Nidus Worm stops, that wall off is going to be completely ineffective. It's not even a wall off, though. Um, he, honestly, he could just take all 400 Minerals and make them into Zerglings and take out both photon cannons and already win i think he's just having fun at this time uh but he's given van draken enough time to get up a gateway get the harvester count up to where it needs to be i think now he needs to start uh making gateways and preparing for the next push because he knows it's coming oh. nidus worm is complete uh the what was that queen firing at oh well nidus worm's complete nice worm coming down uh, probes are immediately pulled. They're going to do quite a lot of damage. It doesn't look like it's going to be effective. It does go down before it could be built. Uh, the Hydras were not in position, weren't already in the Nidus network. But uh, now Vandraken knows to be careful about that. Another Nidus worm. All the probes get pulled again. This is not going to work again. Uh, and he's building photon cannons just to protect himself in the future. This Nidus worm is going to go down. I don't think it's going to be good. Yep. Goes down completely, but every time that happens, the. Uh, economy just stops for Van Draken because all those probes get pulled. A uh, very clever play. Another Nidus Worm. Where is this one going down? Oh, over in the third. Uh, not the end of the world for that one. It's just allowing him to to uh, get in that area much faster. Uh, but it's not the end of the world because the destructible debris are still in the way. Uh, maybe he was expecting a th No, he couldn't have been expecting a third. The Overlord was there. Those destructible debris are going to go down. The photon cannon is going to have to earn their keep against all these hydras. There's just too many hydras, not enough gateways. I think Van Draken is in a very bad position. Uh, he needs to get more than just a couple of photon cannons up to push back those hydras. Stogger is going to go to work. The zealot's going to go down as soon as he gets in the pathway of those hydras. Whole wall is going to get unpowered by the pylon. I think this is good game. Uh, Van Draken did a really good job of holding off that aggression. Uh, you can see his economy was going to be in t top shape. But uh, actually, he needs to pull these probes right now, allow the Nexus to go down, and he wouldn't be in that bad of a shape. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. There goes the probes. They're going to sneak out just in time as the Nexus falls. A couple of harvesters are going to go down. But uh, again, the infrastructure is not in place to re-macro. Those hydras are going to move south side into the main um, and they're just going to 1A into the end of the base. Van Draken taps out. He did a good job at uh, dealing with the aggression um, but maybe getting up these structures a little bit faster would have been better for him. Not bothering with the Twilight Council. Just get up units. He's got so much money he could have dealt with this attack but uh, I think he was playing a little greedy. 
which I guess he's what he needed to do. Oh, well. Good game. Good game. Hey, if you guys have a uh, comment for me, you could leave one here or Reddit. If you have a game you want me to cast, I'd love to hear from you. You can PM me. Uh, one way or another, I will see you guys later. I am big and scary.